You've probably been there. Someone knocks on the door unexpectedly and you think, should I answer it or not? With more restrictions on telemarketing over the past few years, more companies are trying door-to-door -door sales. Everything from educational reference products and software to school fundraising items that help schools gain money to go to trips and provide things for their students are all sold on a door-to-door -door basis. Sometimes magazines, cleaning products, various other types of things, as well as services from cable television to even electrical utility switchovers are often accomplished door to door. The Southwestern Company has been in the business of door to door sales for 140 years. And summer is the season for college students to hit the streets for some extra cash and some business experience. But sadly enough, these days you do have to keep an eye out for scam artists. There are ways to rule it out, though. First of all, they always identify themselves. You would always know what their name is, you would always know what company that they are selling products for. They've always got some kind of readily available identification. Southwestern Company has a five-day training course for students to teach them how to deal with customers. And they all have the company's signature SW logo on bags and backpacks. But try to avoid traveling sales crews in unmarked vans. One red flag is that if somebody is saying that the reason that they're knocking on the door or trying to make a sale is for some kind of a cause that just doesn't sound right. It is your right to check out the company first before discussing any business, and there are a few ways to do that. Contact the Better Business Bureau, check the background of the company, see what the reputation is, and make the decisions based upon that. And maybe even a call to City Hall can help us as well? A call to City Hall can be good. Uh, most communities, although not all, require mm -hmm. some form of a permit before people can go door to door. Mm -hmm. And so if they'll check on the city hall and they'll find that a permit is required, then the homeowner can simply ask anyone that comes to the house, by the way, do you have a sales permit? If you are still suspicious, you can ask them to leave and contact police. On the other hand, if your check pans out, then it is up to you whether to keep the meeting on the doorstep or invite the salesperson inside your home. But you should still keep up your guard even if you decide to buy. What is important is that they always make sure that they receive two copies of their receipt and the receipt again would state the amount of the purchase with all taxes and any delivery fees, the amount of the down payment, and the balance that's due. The company's name and contact information should also be on that receipt. Most companies will accept cash, check, or credit card for payment, but you do have the right to change your mind. Any item that's more than $25 that's purchased at the door always has a three-day right to change their mind, what's often called the cooling off period. If you keep these tips in mind, you may actually enjoy a great deal with a personal touch in today's automated world.